All right, so on to energy part two. I just sort of teased this at the end of the last video. We're talking about the conservation of energy. And when we look at that, that means uh, that in a system, the amount of energy that's in it is going to stay the same as time goes on. We have two different kinds of systems we're gonna talk about. And the first one is an isolated system. Now, for an isolated system, you wind up not having any energy going in or out of the system, and no mass as well. Um, so we get that the initial energy is equal to the final energy. And we can write the sum of all of the initial energies, all the different types of energy for every single object added up is gonna be equal to this. Just like this, so we've got our kinetic energy plus potential energy at the beginning. This is for every object and every type of potential energy is equal to the amount of energy at the end. So we can kind of slosh around where you might have more kinetic energy and less potential energy at the end. But then at the beginning, you had the other way around where you had more, less kinetic energy, more potential energy. And so it's kind of like you're sloshing this energy around from one type to another type, going from kinetic to potential, gravitational potential to spring potential, back to gravitational potential, something like that. And that's what can happen uh, in an isolated system. All of the energy is conserved. That would be an ideal system as well um, in that case. So the thing that we're really doing here is looking at the energy following where it goes. And we need to follow a little more closely when we're in a non-isolated system because this is not true. These are then not equal. So for a non-isolated system, again, these are not equal, we get that the external work is really what's going on here. So there's some sort of energy that's either being put into the system or being removed from the system. And so if you're adding energy to the system, that means that the final energy should be bigger. So the initial energy plus the energy you've added is equal to the final energy. But if you're removing energy from the system, then the initial energy minus whatever energy is taken out of the system is equal to the final energy. You can also consider in here like friction to be almost like energy that's being taken out of the system. Um, sometimes that would be written as a non-conservative work, but we're just gonna lump it all into this same thing. This is any energy that is not in mechanical energy at the beginning or at the end. And this is sort of our general overall equation for this. We got initial kinetic and potential energy being equal to the final kinetic and potential energy, but there's also that term there where energy enters or leaves the system. Now, if you stuck with us through all of these review videos, I think that you deserve a little bit of a reward. So I'm gonna be singing for you a song, a little musical interlude. Uh, this song is called Blue Skies. It's an old jazz standard. I hope you enjoy. skies smiling at me nothing but blue skies do I see birds singing a song nothing but blue birds all day long never saw the sun shining so bright never saw things going so right Noticing the days hurrying by When you're in love, my how they fly Blues, days, all of them gone Nothing but blue skies from now on I never saw the sun shining so bright, never saw things going so right. Noticing the days hurrying by when you're in love, my how they fly. Oh, blue days, all of them gone, nothing but blue skies 
from now on. Thanks. <laughs>